So right now, my current Hoka shoe is a Hoka Clifton 7. She woke up on a Saturday morning, hoping that you had called me. Realized it was the afternoon. Welcome back to another video today, and today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of the shoe brand Hoka, and I'm sure if you're a runner, you know what Hokas are, so let's get into today's video. So right now, my current Hoka shoe is a Hoka Clifton I really do love the Hokas. They offer so much support, um, a little too much support at some time. But they're really good for an easy day shoes. I would love to try the Mach 4. Uh, maybe for a racing day shoe, I would love to do the Nike Vapor Fives or something. But they're very expensive. And at the end of the day, I really don't like Nikes. The Hoka's would be really good. I actually raced in the Hoka Clifton 7. Massive PR. And a half Maradon of a 127.45. And I could have done better with another shoe, yes. But the cushion of these shoes, especially for road running, it's truly amazing. I love the support, the cushion, and pretty much everything about it. And when I take these off after a run, I always get into my Hoka Recovery Slides, which even offer way more support and cushion. So when I walk barefoot, it's not good, <laughs> or uh, run in a different pair of shoes. I guess I can say I'm more prone to injury, uh, just because of the cushion levels. You're going from very high cushion shoes and then to nothing. When you run in something like a Brooks or a Nike or an Ultra some, or even just walking barefoot to your kitchen or something, you will notice a difference from taking off Hoka's to that just because of the cushion levels. And that's one reason I don't like it because at the end of the day, Hoka babies your feet. And what do I mean by that? So a Hoka shoe, uh, provides so much good support, maybe a little too much, um, of course, compared to a normal running shoe like a Brooks or a Nike. But when you take a Hoka shoe off, you have no support on your feet. And wearing a Hoka shoe, you get, you get no f foot strength at all. You can go to the gym and work on your feet, but who really has true time to work 15 minutes on your feet uh, every single day compared to a shoe? like Ultra or Brooks, there's not that much cushion so your feet can get a little bit more work. While Hoka, she provide a lot of cushion to your feet to where you, your feet are so babied. But one major reason I love Hoka's is because I'm a road runner. I love to run on the roads. Um, the pavement, and we all know pavement is a terrible spot to run. It's very impactful on the joints. It's very taxing on the body. And Hoka's can really help with that, especially for an easy day shoe, because it can provide a lot of cushion to your feet and just overall to the rest of your body. Minimize the impact on your body. Make you feel like you're running on something like a trail or grass or maybe even a treadmill. Because some people don't have access to a treadmill or somewhere they can go run on grass or something lighter than outside on the pavement because we all know the pavement is just something to be so prone to injury because of how impactful it is so something like a hoka uh clips and sevens can be really good for your easy day shoe but that's today's video right a little quick one but thanks for watching stay humble work hard and be kind peace mm -hmm.